Yes. We love hip hop. Before we get to the Toronto shit, as well, aka uh, one third of the Fuji's, aka Ghetto Superstar. That is what we are. So Praz has been in some a bit of a pickle, as they say. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pull up something. He's been found guilty of all of all ten counts of federal conspiracy case. All right. Um, where should I find this? Where should I pull this up? I'll use Yahoo News. Okay. And let's pull up an article behind this right here. Let me minimize this. And for the people who don't know who Praz is, some of y'all might be too young to know Praz. He's one third of the Pujis, as I mentioned. Okay. He was usually last burst. All right. Obviously, Praz, I mean, um, Wyclef, producer of many of the of the Fuji songs. Everybody knows Lauren Hill. You know what I'm saying? Doing the singing, amazing rapper, the best rapper in the group. But Praz would be the third verse. He, he was the least best rapper in the group. So a lot of times they just put him third and the DJs would just spin him out. How many mics do I... Um, how many mics do I make on a daily? How many mics do I rip on a daily? I say many money. I say many, many, many. Right? Those guys. So Praz found guilty on all 10 counts on federal conspiracy case. Fuji's rapper faced up to 20 years. Now, for anybody who's going to be like, Fred, this is old. I ain't talk about it yet. Okay? So I don't give a fuck. Um, we are, of course, very disappointed, but I am very confident in the ultimate outcome of this case. David Kenner of the Kenner Law Firm in the, um, said in an email to Complex. Kenner continue. Wait, why is this article just starting from the middle of the fucking thing? OK, Kenner continued. Um, her honor gave us a briefing schedule that will allow us to, um, to brief a number of motions that I made during the case of this trial. That brief schedule extended out to, Ju uh, to July. Her honor pointed out today that after those decisions are made, okay, where's the original story? Give me the original story. Um, okay, let me find this. Okay, according to TMZ, Praz was deemed guilty on all 10 counts, faces up to 20 years in prison. His attorney, Debbie Kenner, expresses disappointment. Uh, okay, here it is. Praz, uh, Ka, Praz Kazrel Michel, better known as Praz, was found guilty Wednesday for his involvement in an international conspiracy scheme, which millions of dollars in foreign money was used in, propose, in purpose of influencing U.S. government officials, okay? Now, let me just pull up an original article because at first, he was saying that he worked for the FBI, that he was an FBI informant, and the FBI rejected this. They were like, nah, you don't work for us. That's cap. And what came out to be is that Praz has been embezzling money from Malaysia to the U.S. to influence the uh, outcomes of the last or the election before this one. Okay. Um, I want to find the story. Let's find the story. Let's find the story. Let's find the original story, okay? Because there's a lot of money involved in the story here. Here we go. This to be better. CNN. I can see this on the screen. There we go. This is Praz right here. For anybody who doesn't know what he looks like. Okay, the rapper prize Michelle was found guilty on, in a federal court on, in Washington on Wednesday of 10 criminal counts related to da, 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 da. the Grammy Award winner, artist, former member of the Fuji's faced multiple counts over the failed conspiracy, um, failed conspiracy to help Malaysian 
businessmen, um, Ho Lao, and Chinese government gained access to U.S. officials, including former President Barack Obama and Donald Trump. Michael was found, or Michelle, was found guilty of conspiracy to defraud the U.S., um, witness tampering, and acting as an unregistered agent of the foreign government. A foreign government. He faces up to 20 years in prison. No sentence date was set. Michelle sat um, storkly as each count came down on Wednesday and did not comment to reporters outside of the courthouse. Okay. Um, me, now, Michelle, now let me fast forward a bit. Michelle testified last week that um, Lau paid him, paid Michelle 20 million in 2012 in order to get a picture of himself with Obama and prosecutor alleged Michael, um, um, alleged Michelle funneled over 800 million of the money to Obama's campaign through a number of straw donors. Okay. In his defense, Michelle testified he never used the money that Lo, that Lowe directly, um, that at Lowe's direction, but instead saw his money which he could spend however he wanted. Okay, so I guess he paid Pras some money to take a picture with uh, Barack. Upward of, and, and Pras funneled over $800 million to Obama's campaign. That's crazy. Because Obama was elected. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Pras, for anybody who, who's been following any of this type of stuff, he's not he's no stranger to political the, the political system. You know what I'm saying? Him and, and Wyclef were kind of like ops when it comes to politics once upon a time. You know what I'm saying? Most expensive picture piece love said, yeah, $20 million to take a picture with Barack Obama. And obviously, because he's prized from the Fuji's, okay, the Fuji's selling diamond, okay, that album with Ready or Not, that went diamond. When you go diamond, the kind of access that you have, the type of places that you get invited to is different, okay? Niggas who never sold diamond get to go to the White House. Especially during those times when um, Obama was in there, he had all the black black people in there. You know what I'm saying? So it wouldn't be hard to be like, "Yo, let's 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 flick it up, fam." Ready or not, see what I did there, right? And um, you know, use that picture for other means, and then start doing what they need to do. It's crazy because him and him and um, Wyclef were running with opposite parties when it came to um, running for Haitian prime minister. OK, these guys were running with opposite parties. And then as far as like getting into federal shit, they had a man that was down with their crew, John Forte. If you all don't remember John Forte. Um. Dread dude, he had that song Super not Superstar. Um, Me and my crew. Da, 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 um, flash the message. Flash the message. Something's out there. Bad rendition, but y'all get the point. That nigga did 15 years or caught 15 years for going to the airport with a shitload of coke. Elephant Man. Well, Elephant Man caught a big charge too. Because I remember um, Buju catching a big one. Didn't they catch Buju at the, at the airport with a whole bunch of keys too? You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas ain't strangers to the legal system, I guess. Because <clears throat> I'm sure even when that was going on with John Forte, they had to help him out in some kind of way. Like, yo, fam, I came from, from you guys and you guys, I'm on your album, fam. It's, it's Diamond. Can I hold something? Can I get some, some help with the lawyer? 
know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. I feel like they're going to make an example of Praz when it comes to this. I think they're going to make an example of Praz when it comes to this. Praz. Okay? Um, not because only he's a rapper, but because, you know, there's a, a heavy agenda that's going on, um, especially with the left, right? I can't even believe I'm saying this myself now, but especially with the left, there's a heavy agenda going on, and anything that's happening that looks fishy, um, that makes them look like, hey, you know, they might have had their hands dirty, had some blood on their hands, some embezzled money floating into their campaigns. They're going to want to handle expeditiously. They're going to want to make sure that they're very stern on this and they show that they do not support any of this type of embezzlement and any of this types of, of, of trickery in any type of way. It's just not the democratic way. You feel me? So I feel an example on the way. Like if he's facing 20 years, they're going to smack him with like 15 of those. You know what I'm saying? Peace Love said he's the scapegoat. Yeah. I could believe that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kraz has been getting money for a long time. For the people who don't know, he actually put the Fuji's together. He's mentioned in interviews more than once how um, him and Wyclef had um, Lauren and another girl. And I think they cut the other girl out and made the Fuji's. Okay? He's always been the guy behind the scenes doing the money play. So I'm not saying that he's like, this is like, he could be totally guilty of this, but him being behind the scenes, making plays rather than just being on his artist shit, because to be honest, besides the stuff that he did on the Fugees, he had his one solo album, Ghetto Superstars came off of that with ODB. Rest in peace. And after that, you never really heard from him when it came to music. You feel me? So, for him to be behind the scenes, just consistently making plays, being involved in politics, like I said earlier, with the whole um, Haitian government, it's not, it's not too far-fetched. But we're going to pray for him. Okay, he ain't kill nobody. He just trying to get a bag. And ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to pray for prize, all right? Let's everybody put some prayers for prize tonight when we go to bed. So yo, free prize, yo. Free prize. We love hip hop.